Dick Marriott of Sodor Island News reporting live from Tidmouth Rail Yards where we received word of some unusual goings on. As you can see, there has been the most dreadful accident. Here's how it all began. soon cooled the axle down uh, yep. so they could get moving. <laughs> then... Tetley. That's like that for a name, movie. Tetley? That's not funny, even from an oversized kettle. Kettle? <laughs> be quiet, you hot-headed troublemaker. We shouldn't be treated like this. They're more of us than of them. Let's pay them out. Tetley settled in well, though, with the other trucks, not the engines. He seemed to cause trouble wherever he went, be it with Edward. Hold back, lads! Hold, Hold back. back! Hold, Hold back. back! Now stop messing about. Goodness me. Or Jane. Hey, what's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it is and all. One of the vans has come off the rails. Oh, let me guess which van. Henry. And mind you, polish my brass. Uh, hey, get away from that engine. We're using it as a stop block. Stop block? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Tedley, again? When I'm back on the line, I'm going to bump you so hard. Oh, shut up, old square wheels. We've got all of the lads. We're kings of the yard. <laughs> I do hate it when this happens. It took days to straighten my buffer beam. Days! The yard's in a right state too at the moment. And it's all thanks to that twat in Tetley. I reckon we should just get it over with and get you to pull him apart, Oliver. Scare some discipline into them. Yes, yes, scatter the remains of wagons over the yard, causing more delay. Perfect solution, James. Quite. Think about it, James. Trucks are quite literally our coal and water. Without them, there's no railway. Yes, but you must admit that things are getting out of hand, Edward. Hang on, I... I thought you were against disciplining the trucks. I'm against ripping the trucks apart, Oliver. There is a difference. Point stands that before these new trucks arrived, though rude, the 
old ones respected us. Now they delay our trains and generally make a nuisance of themselves. Hmm. This is a shame, really. We know the problem, just not how to solve it. Look, I've already said. Rip apart a truck or two. Simple. James? Just shut up! And the problem of how to deal with the trucks looming over them, the engines went unhappily to sleep. The next day, Oliver was shunting some trucks for Douglas. He was still thinking of how to get his own back on Tetley, but wasn't sure how. Right, right then, uh, look sharp, you lot. Ooh, that little green pipsqueak. When he pushes us next, pull him back. The trucks giggled in their silly way. Oliver, distracted, was completely unaware. Pull him back, show him that hey, we hey, won't hey, give hey, him any slack. The siding ended at some buffers in front of a brick wall. Beyond the wall was a rope. This is Dick Marriott of Sodor Island News reporting live from Tidmouth Rail Yards where we received word of some unusual goings on. As you can see, there has been the most dreadful accident. Here's how it all began. So Oliver, what happened here? Well, I, uh, I, uh, don't worry. I heard all about this particular van from the other engines. Despite the damage he caused, and Hart says it's your fault. But I realized that his prankness had really gone too far. I trust you, Dad. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Now, if you excuse me, there's a film crew over there who want me to interview. See you guys in, see you guys in a second. So, sir, what has happened here? My dear Mr. Merritt, this incident over there has been an accident. But don't worry, we will do this a mess at once at once. Luckily, no one of you was injured, but quite so. Now, excuse me, I gotta get off. I'm running late for a meeting right now. It took a bit of a while, but, fetch, but fortunately, Ted Lee's wheels were right next, right next uh, directly to the track. The workman had put wooden sleepers onto the rails, and then all and then rails were on each, and then rails were added as well. Oliver coupled up to Tetley and heaved as hard as he could, and at last Tetley was back on the rails. Well, 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 been on you a lot of trouble today. I just say time to the scrappies. The fact control will have a word with you for your foolish act. Not to mention the for that incident you had with Henry for killing three workmen over there. Come on. The fact control has some stern words to Tetley for for doing for causing confusion and delay and causing the death of three workmen when he when he crashed into Henry. But after the stating with the police that Tetley was very dangerous on the railway, the fact control had no choice but to have to send him for scrap. With Tetley gone, life on the railway returned to normal, and the trucks became less troublesome after Tetley had left the railway. The engines congratulated Oliver for, for putting Tetley into a terrible position, and then all the trucks became a much more visual of Oliver's actions. And the engines were glad there would be less trouble for the tr trouble for them with the trucks, and they would have some peaceful time at last.